British Honda Civic is now in its 10th generation, and this time around, it looks a whole lot more conventional than before. It's enjoyed the largest single and middle development program in Honda's history, and unlike previous incarnations, it will be sold in essentially the same form around the globe. Compared with its main rivals, the Ford Focus, Vauxhall Astra and Volkswagen Golf, it is still a highly styled and unconventional looking car, which makes it a good choice for those who want to stand out in a crowd. Don't let the new styling fool you into thinking that this Civic is any less interesting than before, it has a sophisticated engine lineup and upgraded suspension. Overall, it's vastly more powerful and efficient than before, and certainly more accommodating, making it a compelling choice against the mainstream opposition. An interesting new look. The Civic's relatively low roof and sporting body kit means it's not a car for shrinking violets. The front and rear bumpers are low and aggressively styled, while the sloping, fastback tailgate is more coupe than family hatchback. The sporting look is deliberate, Honda wants to attract new buyers to the Civic, and believes making it look and feel more dynamic is the correct way of going about things. It's longer, lower and lighter than before, and the way the new Civic is styled, with its purposeful looking air intakes, vents and spoilers, Honda is making sure buyers know about it. Is there more room in the 2017 Honda Civic? The additional length over the old model, combined with the stretched wheelbase, has given a new Civic more passenger space in the rear. In the front, there's also more headroom, which adds to the sense of airiness inside. The Civic now has a lower and more reclined driving position, which is part of its new sporting persona probably good enough reason for it losing a dash of rear headroom. The boot is usefully sized, with a capacity of 478 litres with the rear seats in place. It has a split floor for added practicality, and the slimline luggage cover that slides across the low would be is a very neat touch. Two petrol engines, two transmission choices. At launch, the Civic is available with 1.0 litre three cylinder and 1.5 litre four cylinder turbocharged petrol engines. The smaller of the two develops 129 horsepower and has an official combined fuel consumption figure of 55.4 miles per gallon. The larger engine produces a generous 182 horsepower and returns 46.3 miles per gallon. Unusually, Honda offers both engines with its CVT automatic gearbox, there's a slight payoff in terms of efficiency, but it's a slick shifting transmission, and the company reckons 40% of buyers were plump for this version. So, what about diesels? An updated version of the outgoing Civic's 1.6-litre tech power unit is promised for late 2017, but its absence from the launch lineup shows Honda's world focus with this new car. And that's a poor situation if Honda is serious about attracting buyers from rival manufacturers. With two power units to choose from initially, you might be forgiven for thinking that the range is lacking. Not so, the 1.0 litre is a potent little thing, with huge attention paid to its cooling system and the efficiency of its turbocharger. With 129 horsepower available in intra-level safe form, you get a lot of bang for your buck despite its tiny engine. The 1.5-litre four-cylinder is also powerful for its comparatively small engine capacity. Again, the turbocharger is working hard for its living. We love the gear change quality and pedal weight though. Our choice 1.0-litre petrol. Both new Honda Civics certainly put the disappointing performance of its 1.4 and 1.8-litre predecessors in the shade. But the smaller of the two is a genuine star. With a maximum speed of 126 miles per hour, and 062 miles per hour time of 10.8 seconds, it looks good on paper, but on the road, this eager engine belies its tiny capacity. It feels big hearted. It has a slightly gruff, offbeat sound we've come to associate with three cylinder motors, but you're mainly aware of it when you're accelerating or hard. Once it's cruising, it settles down to a muted hum. You will have to work it on hills or when fully loaded, and it can feel lacking compared with rival turbo diesels when asked to pull from low revs, but in reality, it's a minor niggle in day-to-day -day driving. 
top spec 1.5 litre petrol. The current top of the range model until the type arrives is also small in terms of size given its generous power output, but thanks to its turbocharger and Clavivtac variable valve system, which tweaks the engine's performance to prioritize economy or power, it feels like a much larger power unit. The performance figures back this up 062 miles per hour takes 8.2 seconds, with a claimed top speed of 137 miles per hour, and on the road it feels happy to rev, quiet at motorway speeds and smooth in traffic. This is the Civic to go for if you're a high mileage driver or regularly load it up. Automatic gearbox option. You might be forgiven for thinking that a 1.0 litre CVT automatic sounds like a recipe for daily misery, but it's actually a real gem. Honda has done great work retuning its CVT gearbox to work efficiently by keeping the engine spinning at its sweetest point halfway up the rev range. Keep it out of sport mode and it will run at seriously low revs when you don't need acceleration, but on a light throttle, it steps through a series of simulated ratios acting like a conventional 7-speed auto. If you want performance, put it in sport and use the steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. Here, it responds beautifully. Overall, the CVT version works well as a package, and in daily use, it's actually preferable to the 6-speed manual version because it negates the small hole in the engine's power delivery. There are no appreciable differences in performance and fuel consumption figures, either. The 1.5-litre engine is also available in CVT automatic form, which also works well, with its simulated 7-speed setup, but bizarrely, its maximum speed drops by 10 miles per hour according to Honda's own figures.